All right, folks, I'm at my mama's, and uh, we're making mango jam. Yum, yum, yum. Start out, I cooked the jam, I mean, I cooked the mangoes down a little bit. She's had these frozen. These are, these are hers. This, this is all for her that we're doing today. Um, and we're changing up the recipe a little bit, so I've got to find out how it works out and if she likes it just as good as the other one. I didn't like as much sugar. I, there was so much sugar in the other recipe that I decided I'm going to change it up some. So anyways, this is the starting of it. I'm cooking this up a little bit and taking some of them chunks down some. Um, I'm going to use a potato masher unless she's got an immersifier. I don't know if she's got one of them or not. But, um, I'm going to look around and see what she's got. See if I can break that up a little bit. She does like chunks in it, so I don't know how much I'll be breaking it up. And then, uh, we'll go ahead and I put the lemon juice in here. I, this is five, no, ten. Ten cups of fruit, two tablespoons of lemon juice. And, uh, we're just cooking this around until... I get ready to put in the pectin and then then the sugar. So, y'all know how to make jelly. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Well, folks, we'll see how this turns out. I'm going to add a little bit of butter to help with the foam because it can put a lot of foam on there um, when you're doing it. She never did find the immersion blender or anything. I can't even find a dang... Um, uh, squisher, you know, uh, potato masher. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's hard to cook in somebody else's kitchen. Okay, so we have decided that we've come to the conclusion that we, we are going to let this uh, stay lumpy. Because <laughs> she likes it like that. Well, folks, I'm making this video, and uh, I'm missing some of it. <laughs> Anyways, I was at my mom's last week making mango jam, and I had this video I thought was all here, but it's not all here. So I just wanted to let you know what we ended up making. We never did find anything to uh, mash up the mangoes better but they turned out perfect I mean literally perfect um, <clears throat> she um, we did three batches of jam and we even made uh, banana bread out of some bananas that um, Sherry had given me and it turned out absolutely delicious. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow is make uh, some banana bread for the freezer and I'm gonna make up some jams tomorrow here at home. And I know I'll have everything that I need. But making this video, putting this video together, I wanted you to know that she ended up with 20 jars, pint-sized jars, of uh, mango jam and a beautiful, beautiful, very tasty um, banana bread. And we went on, I wish I could find the, the video where I showed you what we had done with it. Um, I took and spread some of the mango jam that was left over onto the banana bread and oh my word it was the bomb if you guys ever get a chance to make some mango jam try that on some uh some uh banana bread it is really really good anyways i hope that you guys will like subscribe and share with your friends we'll see you next time here on living miracle homestead bye now